everyone has a strong instinct of survival. And this instinct of survival it can make you cross the line. Every sentence he said was really heartbreaking. Even after selling his organ, he ended up with nothing. I never had my family decimated. I never had like, you know, my house destroyed. So it's hard to put ourselves in, a, in their shoes. It's very easy to judge someone who says, oh, he sold his kidney for his trip to Europe, or he sold his kidney to, uh, to have a shelter or something like this. What will you do if you are in extreme needs and there is no way you can, uh, you can provide food, shelter, not only for you, but also for your family? Uh, I heard him like, you know, speaking to his uh, little boy and he was telling him, if I die, you have to take care of your family. If, uh, if I disappear, you have to take care of the family. You are like, look what people experience. And there's not even a room for complaining. These people are in a fight to survive. The people who buy organ are in a fight to live. You can't like, you know, say there won't be any organ trafficking because people will always want to live and people will always want to, to survive the sense of sacrifice. People do things not only for them, but for the people they love, for the people they care, for the people they are responsible for.